In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Miro's MCP server to go ahead and visualize code and create really complex, nice looking diagrams on Miro boards based on code. So we're going to be using VS Code and GitHub Copilot to showcase this. And we're going to first be visualizing an open source GitHub repo, OpenUI 5, uh, developed by SAP. And that's going to basically, we're going to take that URL, analyze it, and output a diagram on this Miro board. And secondly, we're going to visualize internal code base, something that we're working on, and showcase all the frameworks and the uh, architecture of our code to help onboard engineers quicker. So let's get right into it. I already have my prompt uh, already spelled out here, and I'll be going through it in just a second. But while I do that, I'm going to first ensure that we add context and we go ahead and call the MCP tool. So you can see we have Miro Diagram MCP Server. And uh, we're going to go ahead, actually go ahead and uh, specifically call out one tool called, uh, let me look at tools, generate, here we go, draft, uh, draft generate diagram. So that is the MCP tool that we want to use here. So it's going to basically GitHub Copilot is now working and it's going through the repo and understanding it, analyzing it. And now we have to kind of give it um, access to it. So now you can see that it's using this text description to add this diagram to the mirror board. So in just a couple seconds, it should be on this board. Um, and you can see this is the input. And now it's generated this really nice looking diagram and we can apply it to the canvas. And now we can bring it down here. And um, so one thing we can also do is just quickly um, kind of move things around a little bit and make sure it all looks really good. So that's basically a really quick, um, really nice diagram based on the UI5 SAP repo. And now let's do the opposite, which is actually to go ahead and look at our code on our uh, workspace and then visualize that. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's scenario number two. So basically we have our internal code base within VS Code, and now we want to use GitHub Copilot to um, analyze that. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, now I'm gonna basically Analyze the entire code base in my current workspace, Miro board. And then now I'm going to ensure that I use the correct tool again. So here we're going to go ahead and, and then click on this generate diagram again. And let's go ahead and see it in action. So as you can see, GitHub Copilot is working hard now to understand the code base. So here's the code base um, that it's looking at. So now you can see, again, um, it's passed in a text description and it should be adding this new diagram here in just a couple seconds. So it's basically based on this, um, this prompt. So there you go, it's added this diagram. Let me bring it over here. I'm gonna apply it to the canvas. And then I'm gonna bring it over here so we can look at it. So what's really nice is we can actually go into focus mode, get a little bit closer here too, and we can see what we have. We have a logger, we have an API server, we can see the functions and the types as well. We have webhook route, automation controller, uh, Slack service, header scanner, Jira service, and these are all based set, uh, security headers config. And that's basically kind of what that app does. So that's a, a really nice way to quickly visualize that. And I'll show you that code really quick as well. So you can see it as well. So here is kind of the main uh, routes. You can see we have the webhook and we have this Jira webhook um, that's processing events here. And I'm not gonna go super deep into here, but you can see we do have this Slack service as well. And that's kind of all uh, shown in here as well. Uh, and again, you can go ahead and really work with it, adjust it, you wanna review this, but that's kind of a high level uh, what Nero's MCP server can do from a code to diagram. 